next on the over. What am I doing up here in my room? He lied. What? No. Just got up out of bed like he had a bad headache. Lies, he's still gonna like you. I hope so. And we had no men on the second lady. What hit him up? Exactly. But I am telling you, she told me everything. Richard. I can't face her right now. Hey there, my Tyler Perry, the Oval fans. It's your girl, Barbie J, here with her two cents on the preview breakdown for Season 5, Episode 5, Something to Hide. And it starts off with Alan. Alan's in jail, and he's fighting that guy off. First, he threw the guy down on the floor, and now the guy's on top of him with the knife, you know. And, of course, somebody comes in there and saves him. And I told you, I knew it would be somebody like Kyle, Secret Service, because Donald wanted to know what the dealio was with this, uh, this drugs and stuff that Alan had. And he sent Kyle there. And I knew it. I thought when we saw that scene with um, him and Lily that he was going to call Kyle at that moment. But I guess he hadn't. But Kyle gets there and pulls the guy off of Alan before he gets killed. And I think I predicted it in one of my previews, previous previews. Anyway, then we have Hunter. He's questioning Victoria because she wants to know what is he doing up there in his room. He said, what am I doing up here in my room? He's like, are you freaking kidding me? Now, you know, all of us want to know how in the world did Eli get out of there? Now, we saw Eli go under the blanket and you couldn't see him, but he had to get past the door some kind of way. And I don't know if he went under the blanket and rolled off the bed or something and Hunter came in. But the only way it seemed like in and out of there was that door. And we see Victoria standing by that door and Hunter's like, what am I doing? You know, he's sitting on the bed now. So I'm assuming somehow she got Hunter over to the bed and Eli went out the door in that blanket. But still there's cameras in the residence. Oh, no, she had the surveillance cameras turned off. But how did he get out of there without his clothes and everything and past Bobby and the other Secret Service guy? That's going to be interesting. There must be some kind of back route. You remember Jason knew all the back back places and alleys and routes in that White House. So maybe that's what Eli did. Next, we have Max telling Bobby Hunter just got up out of bed like he had a bad headache. And basically, that's what he did. He got up like it was a bad headache, and you saw he tried to get up sooner once he found out that Eli was sworn in as president, but then he passed out because he overexerted himself trying to do that. So that's not a big deal, that part. We have Max telling Bobby we have no men on the second lady, and Bobby saying, why the hell not? And so they know something is up. That I don't know who he really, maybe Eli really wants something to happen to um, Simone. But does this mean now that Max and Bobby know that the second lady was down in the bunker or is down in the bunker? Or do they think that she's away somewhere with the kids and knows no um, secret service on her? Because no matter where she goes, she's supposed to have secret service. So... Let's see what happens with this. Is, is Eli really this nasty and really not liking his wife? Or is he still going to try to keep this thing going like he has this wonderful love, affection, and everything for Victoria? We shall see. And then we see, um, oh, River. That's his name. That guy's name is River, I was told. River is telling Jason the highest will like him. And Jason replies, I hope so. <laughs> Jason has no idea what's going on. But River looked like he likes Jason. You know, he looked like he really likes him. The way he talks to him and smiles and looks at him. It just looks like he he want to eat him up sometimes. You know what I mean? Devour him. Mm. And uh, Jason don't know who the highest is. But I still believe that Jason going to run rampant and cause chaos in that Rakadushi compound. And they going to want to get rid of him at some point. I'm still sticking with that story, y'all. Then we have Richard. He's on the phone talking to Priscilla and telling her that Nancy told him everything about her relationship with his father, Clarence. And he said he can't face her right now. And she's like, oh, Richard. Oh, Richard. And I'm like, Priscilla, don't even go there because you talking about you mad. What you doing to Sam for one time sleeping with somebody? It wasn't even an affair. It was one time, and that was lasted maybe five minutes. What you did to Sam for five minutes of sleep uh, of having sex with 
Victoria, don't even equate to the stuff you've been putting him through and doing to him. But now Richard, Richard has more of a reason to be upset than you even do. So you can't even come close to talking Richard and to understand it. Those drugs must be like a truth serum and making Nancy tell everything. That's why I keep telling y'all, I think Nancy killed Barry because she keeps saying, Barry did, you know, Barry did, you know, yeah. I think the record do she's had to kill her own child. I really do. Or somebody was saying Barry's still alive, but I, I don't think so. Anyway, so that, I mean, <laughs> but then now, now that, um, he, Richard has gotten Nancy to take, I mean, Nancy over to Priscilla's house. She got him over there. I said, well, if Richard can't stand to see her and Nancy has to stay with Priscilla, maybe Sam could stay with Richard now. <laughs> he could use Barry's room. They got about three bedrooms up there. So I said, well, Sam, if you and Richard talk, I, there's a space for you over there at the house. And then they could just do their man talk and discuss their different relationships and what they going through. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, that's my two cents about this episode, this preview breakdown. Y'all let me know what y'all think. And for those of you who haven't subscribed to my channel as of yet, please take a moment and subscribe, like, comment, and share. And I need you to subscribe, especially if you plan on tuning into my live streams, because soon I'll be changing the live stream to only people that could comment are those who are subscribers. So I need you to subscribe so you're able to comment during our weekly live streams. So that's all I have for this video. It's your girl Barbie J saying, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.